My name is Brian Huang, and I am 28 years old, and I currently live in Canada. And how long have you been working with Stronger You, Brian? I've been working with Stronger You for roughly about a year and three months. So I started last year around March. Have you done any powerlifting competitions? Uh, no, I have not. Um, I was hoping that I could do one uh, last year, but unfortunately, COVID hit. So I was unable to, unfortunately, uh, go to one, but I've yet to go to my first uh, meet. Okay. When you started with Stronger You, what were your best squat, bench, and deadlift numbers? My numbers were around, for squat and deadlift, uh, they were both hovering around uh, 275, 280. I wasn't able to break through those those weights. And I think my bench press, um, I think 135 pounds. Uh, and then what are your, your most recent PRs on your squat, your bench, and your deadlift? For my squats, my best uh, PR so far has been uh, 300 pounds. Uh, for the deadlift, it was 310. And for the bench press, I believe it was 170 for about a double or, or a triple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all the squat and deadlift um, weights that I just listed uh, in the five to six rep range. And then when you started with, with Stronger You, why'd you pick Stronger You over a lot of the other coaches out there? There's, there's lots of coaches out there for sure. I think just being able to work with you um, and also just with a personal trainer in general, uh, it, it, it was really easy to narrow down my selection to you because you were my first exposure to a personal trainer. Uh, because prior to that, it just felt really intimidating to even look for one because there's so many of them and, and you're not really sure what kind of um, what kind of feedback you would actually get from them. And I think just the first experience with a personal trainer uh, with you specifically was, was, such, was a really good experience. So I just opted to go with you right away. <laughs> Before and kind of in the starting phases of the training, um, what were kind of your initial concerns with, with working with a, a coach in the first place? I guess my initial concerns were uh, I wasn't quite sure if the coach would be able to help me reduce injury. Um, for instance, because I think back when I was training on my own, um, I was prone to injury because uh, I, I I didn't really have a lot of feedback in in, in terms of looking up uh, someone looking over my list and making sure that I was doing them correctly. And uh, I think my concern was just seeing how the coaching would translate to powerlifting. I found that, you know, that was the reason why I really liked uh, sticking with you because you had a really good knowledge of, of, of uh, powerlifting and these sessions that I have with you are, you know, are actually quite effective. So my concerns were, were sort of addressed right away. And then you'd mentioned that you were, you were kind of injury prone initially with, with your own training when you're working on your own. Um, mm -hmm. What kind of injuries had you, had you dealt with at that, at that point? Yeah. Um, well, they would be the, they would be the occasional uh, uh, muscle soreness, a muscle strain um, that would often come with, um, with uh, perhaps uh, not judging the weight that I should be doing correctly, or, or perhaps um, uh, going beyond the weight that I should be training. And I think the most major injury that I sustained was was a right meniscus tear in my knee, and that was I think mainly due to um, just someone or just not paying attention to the signs of what the impending injury could have been. And, um, you know, I, I think that that injury could be mainly chalked up to inexperience and also just, um, a lack of guidance and just not really knowing like what, like how I should listen to my body. Um, so those are the kinds of injuries that I was, uh, that I was dealing with when I was training on my own. Going forward, what are your kind of future goals now that you've gotten into, uh, sort of this new world of, of strength training and, and, frankly, we've gotten a lot stronger since over mm -hmm. the last year, since we started coaching. Um, what, what are your, your plans going forward? Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say the first thing that comes to my mind is go to and meet. Um, I think I'm just looking forward to, you know, seeing how my progress can translate to a powerlifting meet and just kind of experiencing the whole powerlifting meet, uh, environment. Um, and I think my next goal is to simply just stay consistent right uh to get to get consistently strong to to consistently train and uh at the moment right now i set personal goals to to try to you know hit three plates on the squat three plates on the deadlift and and uh, two plates on the bench press um i'm very close to hitting the three plate benchmark uh for the squat and deadlift so i'm pretty happy about that so once i hit that the next logical thing would to you know increase the weights right so 
I'm just hoping that it'll be a, you know, a lifelong journey of just improving myself, improving my strength and, you know, going to meets. Yeah. And then last question for you is what are kind of your, your favorite things about coaching with, with Stronger You? I would say the number one thing is just the specificity of it all. Uh, I got, I got into weightlifting, um, because I want to compete in, uh, in, in a powerlifting sport. Um, but it was just hard to find a, 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 any coaches that specifically advertised for that, um, kind of training. So, uh, um, so the fact that I was able to find a stronger you, which is a powerlifting specific, um, or they offer powerlifting specific, uh, uh, coaching that fits really well with me. And I think the second thing that comes to mind is just how effective each of the sessions I have with you are, even if I have just an online, uh, a, a online only week where we just do training on a bi-weekly basis. Um, I find I get a lot out of the weekly check-ins. Um, I find I'm, I'm always learning something new each week and learning how to adjust my training, um, learning how to adjust my, my lifts, right. And just learning how to adjust my mentality as well, because, um, I find that powerlifting is also a mental game as well. And I learned a lot in, in terms of how to deal with adversity, de- um, knowing how to deal with, you know, low weeks or high weeks. So it's a pretty all encompassing experience for me. And that's what I like about it. 